wires, wires, more wires. We are forever plugging into this or that, recharging our laptops, our tablets, our mobile phones. But is that all about to change? The technology that we invented is called highly resonant wireless power transfer. It means that we're going to transfer power without any kind of wire. Dr. Katie Hall is helping lead an electronic revolution towards a home without wires. At Wytricity in Boston, Massachusetts, a team of engineers is building on a breakthrough discovery by an MIT physics professor, Marin Solacic, in 2006. The professor at MIT was awakened in the middle of the night by the cell phone beeping. It needed more power. And he stood in the middle of his kitchen and he looked around and he saw outlets everywhere in the house where there was power. And he thought, why can't I just get the power that last few feet from the wall to this phone? It's all around me. There has to be a way. So I was going to say a eureka moment, but I suppose, well, there actually would have been a eureka yeah, moment. Yeah, I think, there, I think it, it is a eureka moment. When you think about what you could do if you could wirelessly exchange power over that distance, the possibilities are unlimited. The technology uses coils of wire or resonators to generate magnetic fields, like the one our cell phones use to transfer electricity through thin air. So this is a wireless source. In this case, it's being powered by a battery. Where you see the circle is where the coil of the resonator is, and it's generating a magnetic field everywhere around it. So if I bring in another resonator that has also built into it, you'll see that the power is transferred from the source to the device to light this light. So far, the technology has been used to power a laptop a cell phone, a TV. But you can see there are no wires in between. It's just magnetic field. And one day soon, an electric car. And with customers including Foxconn, Intel and Toyota, all is hoping the technology will continue to spread. Our business model is really to try to work with other companies to build the wireless power into their product. It's in process uh, to be out in, in quite a few applications in the next, co next couple of years. How safe is it? It is perfectly safe. So the kind of fields that we're using to transfer the energy are the same kind of fields that people use in cell phones and wireless routers. And we have to conform to all the same standards, which are well known and established around the world. The challenge now is to incorporate the technology into all the electronic products we use every day. Dr. Hall likes to dream of a completely wireless world. One spends one's life plugging things in. Right, that's right. But not in your future. No, there will be no wires anywhere, and you won't have any outlets in your wall. There'll be a source, actually, but it will be embedded in the wall. But because we're using the magnetic field to transfer energy, it goes through things. It goes through anything that a normal house is made of. And you'll be able to place a lamp anywhere you want, and it will light up. You'll be able to hang your TV on the wall. There won't, you won't have to worry about wires or, or plugging it in. You know, your phone will always be charging while it's in your pocket. It'll just be something that nobody thinks about. We always talk about wireless because those of us who live with wires know they're gone. But the kids that are growing up in a couple of years will never, will never have to plug anything in and get to charge it.